All right, hello ladies and gentlemen. It's been some time since I've done this. Um, so, where do I begin? Most of you guys on here know that my channel got hacked, I'm sure. As you guys saw the, uh, the big Cardano Foundation portrait and all my videos disappear and whatnot. Um, yeah, that's not really, that's not all that happened. Um, not only did my channel get hacked, everything that I had got hacked. Um, everything, my bank accounts, my investment accounts, my phones, uh, my utility accounts, my internet, uh, every online game account, well, pretty much every online game account that I've ever made. Um, yeah, this dude hacked like over 150 accounts of mine, so... Yeah, I just kind of want to make a video and kind of just explain everything. I'll do my best. It's all kind of a blur at this point, but yeah, it was pretty much like the most traumatizing thing I've ever gone through. Um, sorry, my, my setup is all scuffed and stuff. Okay, so yeah, just the gist of it. I, all my computers are gone. I just rebuilt this one. Um, I got my channel back. I got most of my stuff back. And I'm slowly, uh, I'm slowly recovering here, but I want to just explain everything that happened. So I came up with kind of a, a timeline here because it's kind of complicated. So here we go. I'll just kind of give you guys a rundown and explain what the hell happened to me. So here it is on the 20 on, uh, on one dash 28. I clicked on a link in my business email that was from a fake sponsor. They said they were from Amazon Games. They were going to give me uh, pre-access to New Worlds, their their new MMO. I'm sure you guys have heard about it. It seemed really legit to me, and uh, I clicked on it. And there's a there's an installation file for a game for for New Worlds, and uh, well, that's what it was supposed to be. But um, yeah, so I clicked on that and. Uh, a little square, a little gray square appeared on my taskbar, and the install didn't do anything, so I thought that was really suspicious. I, I messaged them back. I'm like, yo, Amazon, uh, what's going on? This install doesn't work. And I waited. Uh, like, the next day, they got back to me, and they said, uh, said, oh, really? That's that's strange. And that's all they said. And so at that point, I'm like, eh, that's kind of suspicious. So... A few days later, on 2-2, -2, this would have been about four days later, I uh, I just started thinking, like, this is really suspicious. I'm going to just, I'm going to clean this up and get rid of it. So I took uh, one of my, my backup hard drives. I always keep a, a backup hard drive that I, um, I'll basically, like, clone it, clone over it, and I'll have a like a clone of my hard drive at all times in case I need to swap it out in case I do something stupid or whatever. So I took my, my old backup hard drive and I plugged it in and um, I tried to reformat. Uh, well, not reformat, but clone over it, basically. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's kind of like a reformat. And um, so dur during this reformat, uh, the hacker, he actually could see that that's what I was doing because, you know, later on I learned everything about the hack and what it could do and stuff. And, uh, I didn't know at this time, but this dude could see what I was doing. He saw that I was reformatting and about halfway through the, uh, the format, he, um, he started hacking everything that I owned. Um, suddenly it was like 2 AM in the middle of the night and I started getting notifications on my phone and uh, my emails and stuff saying, uh, so-and-so is logged in. Uh, do you want to reset your password? We've done a password reset. Uh, your new password, your new email is this, uh, blah, blah, blah. You know, it just goes on and on. This dude was logging into all my accounts and changing the info and stuff. Um, and that was probably the scariest thing I've ever been through. No, it was. It was definitely the scariest thing I've ever been through. I've had people shot next to me, and I've you know, had people fucking robbed and shit, and it's, it's not that, that's, none of that comes even close to what this was, dude. I was losing everything right before my eyes. Everything was going away and disappearing and getting taken from me. So, yeah, that was very, uh, that was very hard to, hard to go through. So, once that happened, all my stuff got hacked, um... Let me see here. How did this go on the timeline? Um, okay, yeah, I, everything got hacked. And okay, so I switched. 
once once the backup hard drive didn't work, I switched computers entirely. I went over to my stream PC. I unplugged the game PC, put it in the corner, unplugged it all, said goodbye, screw you. I went to my my other PC, my my stream PC. As you guys know, I use two PCs to stream or whatever. So I go to my stream PC. And I, I assume that it's fine, right? I assume it was going to be fine. It was never connected or anything to the other one. And so, you know, it should be good. So I get on that PC and I start recovering uh, accounts. I start getting what I can back. Um, I told YouTube at this point to just keep my channel locked. Uh, YouTube locked my channel to, like, protect my, my privacy or whatever. Um, I told YouTube, just keep it locked. I got to focus on the rest of my life right now. I got to get everything else back and then I can focus on that. So that's what we did. Um, I got back what I could. I got my, my primary stuff, like, you know, my, my, I made sure I could pay my rent. I got my utilities, my internet, my bank accounts. I, I focus on that, all that first. And, uh, so then I, I kind of established like a base, right? I had, I had like the, the ba very, very basic things that I needed to, to keep going. I had those recovered. I, so I thought I was kind of good. And, um, yeah, little did I know I was not good at all. I even went on uh, someone's uh, someone's YouTube channel and, and did an interview, and, and I was chilling. I thought I got through the the worst part of it, but little did I know uh, the worst was yet to come. So, yeah, so that lasted about eight days. I was on that computer, um, recovering accounts and whatnot, and then eight days later on the 10th, I got hacked again. Um... I lost everything again, everything that I, I, those eight days, I didn't sleep at all uh, from from, uh, from the second until, you know, the eighth or the tenth or whatever. I, I didn't sleep at all, no sleep. And uh, I was working nonstop. And then on the tenth, all that work was gone again. I got hacked again. I lost everything. Um, all the all the, the new emails that I had that I was using to, to switch everything over to, uh, the hacker got those. He locked them out. Uh, so all my progress was gone, and not only that, but it was actually worse than before because um, a lot of the accounts that I was trying to recover, I was I was giving all these companies and stuff these emails, these new emails to, to contact me and to help me get my accounts back. And then once I lost those, suddenly I'm locked out of my main email and the backup emails, and these companies have no way to communicate with me anymore. So that's like that's the main reason why it took me so long to get my YouTube back. Once I was finally ready to get get my YouTube back, once I had everything else under control, that's why it took so long. Because I had like three different emails, three different backup emails, and they were all trying to communicate with with the ones that I lost, and it was a it was a freaking nightmare, absolute nightmare. Okay, so the tenth, I lose everything again. At this point, um, I thought my life was over. That's it. I thought my life was over. I was preparing to move back home. I was thinking to myself, like, how, you know, like, you know, I'm, I'm screwed. It's, it's done. I, it's streaming, the internet, it's all gone. It's gone. I need to somehow think of how to, to even live. I thought I was dead. I thought I was dead. I couldn't access my phones, my bank, uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. So, I mean, f fortunately, thank God, I mean, this, this dude didn't touch, there's a few things that allowed me to get through this, otherwise I wouldn't be here and I, I probably would be dead or homeless. Um, he didn't touch a few vital accounts, I'm not going to really say what, but um, because he didn't take everything, he only took 98%, uh, the 2% that he left allowed me to kind of make a recovery here, and so... Once that happened on the 10th, I thought my life was over. I got all my, I got all my, everyone together. I got all my mods in Discord. Um, I did this before when I got hacked the first time too. I should have mentioned that. I, I, when I got hacked, I got all my mods and all my, everyone I had contact with. I got them all in Discord and we talked to each other. We figured out what was going on. Um, and they helped me go from there. And now on the 10th, when this happened again, I got everyone back in and I told everyone, I'm like, guys, I'm fucking screwed. I lost everything again. Everything we've been doing, all the plans we came up with to come back from this, they're not working, and I'm screwed. So um, I need uh, I need you guys to give me like your your contact information in case I lose my internet and my phone, and I gotta move back home, and I, someday I gotta fucking get a hold of you guys on a payphone somewhere. Um, I need I need your guys' info so I can maybe someday try to come back from this in the future. And uh, this was a scary conversation that we had. Um, yeah, I basically I got. I got all my mods. They gave me their 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 real life their their phone uh, information and stuff. My 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 YouTube partner manager. He, you're you're the coolest fucking dude ever. And I don't I don't want to say your name and shit. I don't want to dox you, but you know who you are. 
big fucking D, dude. Big fucking D. My my YouTube partner manager, he gave me his his real life contact info and stuff. So I, I wrote all that stuff down. And uh, I was legitimately, I thought it was over. I thought I was going to have to move back home to the crack shack, to the fucking, oh, to the, to the fucking cyclone of fucking trash. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty scary, man. It was really scary. I was looking around my house, like, you know, all this is gone. Everything I set up is gone. I'm going to, I'm going to, how am I, how am I going to move this stuff back home, back to the crack shack? Where am I going to stay? My, the house is full. There's no room for me. Like it's so anyways, um, yeah, so that happened. Um, I thought everything was over. Not good. And from there, once I got everyone's contact info, um, I just, we, we talked, we talked to everyone, uh, my mods and, and all my friends and stuff, they reached out to anyone that they knew, any sort of like specialist or IT guy or anything like that, infosec people, we reached out to everyone and I sat there and I talked to every person and I, I, I just grilled people for information, anyone that I could talk to. Uh, any anyone that knew about uh, security, two-factor authentication, emails, um, just keeping your shit secure and your accounts, and I, I I talked to all these people and I learned everything from the ground up. I learned uh, how I I learned everything, all the secure like all like uh, Google. I, I went through all my like Google accounts and I went through all the settings and figured out from the ground up how each and every one of these things works to make sure that my shit can't get hacked again. Um, I talked to infosex and IT specialists, and we, we uh, people helped me set up um, antivirus, VPN, firewall, and um, all my two-factor stuff. And uh, what else? Just well, Windows uh, settings. They helped me just lock all my shit down, make it super secure. Uh, they helped me set up my routers, um, everything. I fully updated windows all that stuff like my windows was trash it, i never updated it i didn't have a vpn i didn't have a firewall i had nothing i had no security my security was trash i had everything under one email like guys i, I after at the end of this i'm going to give some tips and shit on what to do and what not to do and so we'll go into that later but my security was trash it was trash. this was a huge wake-up call and i'm very fortunate to be able to come back from this and that this didn't end me so all things considered, I, I am I am fortunate and I am grateful for this. So, back to the story in the timeline. I get hacked again. I lose everything on the tenth. Um, we come up we come up with the plan. I learn all this stuff and and these 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 professionals they, they give me they give me the plan. They tell me what I got to do. And it basically involves I need to unplug everything I've owned because here here's here's what we did. We figured out how how the hack worked. Right. I told you I figured this out, but it was. I didn't know how it worked in the beginning. Once, once I got hacked again, I thought everything was over. I sat here and I, I look, I watched videos about um, how this hack worked, or how, how it worked. Someone told me what the hack was, and um, or you know what they thought it could be. And I watched videos and I studied it and I figured out what it can do. And I realized that this thing is is quite literally the most advanced piece of fucking technology there is, dude. Th this hack can go and it can uh, once it's in your computer, it can jump across drives that aren't even like active or anything like it can jump across your drives on your computer it can jump across to different devices on your network it can uh which includes phones uh phones any 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 anything on your network this thing can get into and compromise it um i watched i watched like hour-long videos on on how this shit works and like you can you can see everything like if, if you're on like the c drive of a computer that's infected and that computer is connected to another drive you, you, there's a little window you can click on it and you'll see every drive a b c uh and then like d for you know your fucking your phone that's on your wi-fi over there and then like f for your other computer that's over there it'll see everything and it'll jump to everything it'll infect everything and ruin everything so what we did at this point i was all in i thought my life was over and i i i was ready i will do anything to make sure that I do not have to go back to the fucking crack shack in Section 8, right? So I talked to these dudes. I'm like, what do I got to do? I'll do anything. What do I got to do? We decided I got to get rid of every tech piece of technology in my fucking house. Everything. It's all unplugged. It's all trash. It's gone. All of it. Like, every computer. Like, all three of my computers. Like, my 60 fucking smart devices. My security cameras. Everything. Boom. All trash. Okay? Gone. 
I gotta get a brand new fucking computer to work on to 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 start from scratch. I gotta get a brand new computer, brand new router, brand new uh, you know. I gotta get a VPN, antivirus, fully update the computer. I gotta get it all good to go, all fresh, and from there, we're gonna go. So I do I do all that. Now to even get the computer right, I didn't have access to my bank accounts. Uh, I I everything like I I I had to cancel my cards. I you know. I had to close, my, cancel my checks, everything, close my bank account, switch everything. So everything I had was closed. And I had, you know, when that happens, you got to wait time to open it back up to get your cards back. And I'm just, I still fucking, still half my shit's not working. And it's been a month, but, <clears throat> excuse me. So I needed to get a new computer. I needed to get a new phone and I needed to, to start getting new computer parts and stuff to rebuild. Um, the only way that any of this happened was uh, I, I had, like, no money in my PayPal. The only thing I still had up at this point was my PayPal. And PayPal, customer support, one of the best in the United States. Thank you, PayPal, for everything you guys did to me, uh, did did for me. I, I call PayPal up. I, I, I explain everything. They help me. They, they've helped me the whole the whole way. The whole, every, every problem I've had, PayPal has been there, that responsive and, and awesome. They're the only reasons, well... They're one of the only reasons. There's there's a, like a, a a list of like ten reasons that I I was able to survive from this. And if one of those ten weren't there, the other nine didn't matter, and I was dead. So PayPal is one of them. So thank you PayPal. Um, I had my PayPal still up. Was able to lock it down and secure it early on. Thank God. And uh, people were able to donate to me uh, from my Discord. I was like, Yo guys, I'm fucking screwed here. Um, I I need some help if you guys can like. <laughs> Here's my PayPal. I, I need help. I need to get a computer. I didn't have any other way, dude. I had no other way, dude. I, I tried to never ask for money ever once while streaming, even in the crack shack when I couldn't afford toilet paper. But at this, I, I didn't have a choice here. I had to ask. And uh, <clears throat> fortunately, a few people in my Discord, Jamie, Dank Farts, thank you guys. Thank you guys very fucking much. Um... They sent me some money, and because of that, I was able to, um, you know, to, to get the gas in my car that I needed to drive around all these places to open up new phone accounts to to get the computer, and uh, yeah, so so thank thank God for that. Um, so to get this computer, massive pain in the ass. I gotta drive around like 50 different stores. None of the stores have any compute any computers that have Ethernet ports. What was what's that? I thought all computers had Ethernet ports. So. I, I'm like, what the fuck? What? So I drive to like three stores. They're all the same. No no computers with Ethernet ports. Like, what is that, dude? So I spend all day driving around. I, I end up going to one store to get uh, the computer, then to another to get uh, an Ethernet to USB adapter fucking thing, and, and then to another store to get the router. And so that took all fucking day. Driving around in the blizzard in my Civic, and it's all slushy, and the Civic's getting fucking dumpstered, and... I, I ended up crashing my Civic. Uh, someone fucking pulled out in front of me, um, and I, I ran into them. I, I tried to stop and turn and shit, but I couldn't because they fucking pulled out right in front of me. Um, that's getting taken care of. Uh, I went through insurance and all that stuff, and it's been a huge pain in the ass, but the other driver was at fault 100%. I don't have to pay anything, so the Civic's going to get fixed up, hopefully. But yeah, man, my new Civic is trash. Like it's, ugh, it's so bad. My 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 favorite pair of sunglasses got broke. My my favorite fucking Corona mask got ripped. Uh, my favorite coat got all scuffed up during all this. You know, it's just it's just one thing after another. It's just every every. It's like it, the domino is just falling, all connected, dude. Um, so I go around. I get this PC, and uh, it's sitting here right next to me. Um, and yeah, I use this PC and I, and since then it's, it's been a few weeks, like three weeks, almost a month and I, or whatever. And I, all day, every day, I just been working on, uh, recovering my accounts and working with, um, um, companies and customer support, trying to get everything back. And that, that's not fun. If, if this happens to you, if you lose your account, that's one thing you can kind of, you can usually get that back. But if you lose the account and the email you're pretty fucking screwed and at that point you're you're in for a a ride to get your shit back um just 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 an example to get one of my uh about 150 accounts that got lost 
just one of them. I had to send him uh, a picture of me holding up my ID with a handwritten letter saying for verification for, you know, this program or website. And then I got to send a picture of me holding a billing statement with my address on it. And it's all got to be in focus with my face and a picture of my SSN, a picture of my driver's license. This is all just to get one fucking account back, bro. That takes days. And then I got to sit there and wait for the emails and, and respond and... Not only that, but I made about 50 emails to hide my shit. 50 fucking fake emails, fake addresses, fake aliases that all, none, 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 none of it leads back to me. None of it. And so I'm trying to keep track of all that. 50 new emails, all with weird names and where my accounts are. And I'm, ta I'm taking all my stuff off the computer and I'm putting it all in real life so people can't fucking hack it anymore. So I'm trying to come up with that new system. Coming up with a new system while keeping track of 150 accounts that you lost, some of them. And some of them you have. And some of them you put in these emails that you're abandoning because they're fucking hacked. And some of them are in these emails. But those... Uh, and then eventually I, like, I realize I have too many accounts, too many emails. And it's a freaking mess. I, I kind of got everything sort of stabilized. But then I was waking up and it's like, your Microsoft account has been locked due to suspicious activity. Uh, your Google account has been disabled due to suspicious activity. And every day is something and I had to fucking get them back and fix them up. And eventually I'm like, dude, Microsoft and Google, like, they, they, even, the, even the websites themselves think what I'm doing is suspicious because I'm opening up so many fucking emails. I opened up four fucking, four phone accounts, the four new, four new fucking phone numbers, 50 new emails, all with new phone numbers. I get to the point where these web, like, I was opening up so many emails. Once you open up so many emails, the, the website locks you out. You can't make anymore. So then you got to start making them under a different phone number. So then you make them under a different phone number. Then you switch them over to the old phone number. And then it kind of works. But then, then you get locked out of both those numbers. You can't make anymore. So then I take my third phone account take the SIM card out of it, swap it into my uh, into my new phone, get a new number into that, and then I make new accounts with the new number, the temporary SIM card in my phone, make a new account, so then I gotta pull it out, switch back to my old number, change it back, re-authenticate, blah, 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 it goes on and on, like, th dude, 50 emails, four different phones, it's insane. It's insane. So I, I, I get everything kind of, kind of stabilized. I, 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 I had to do this to get away from this fucking hacker, right? I, 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 I fucking, I couldn't even find my data, let alone him, dude. So at this point, I'm kind of good. I get everything kind of stabilized, and uh, but it's a mess. I can't keep track of it. I don't know which is what and where is where, and I, so I, can't, I, 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 I'm like, dude. Everything's on hold. I can't build a new computer. Fuck the car. Fuck everything. I gotta. I gotta redo this. I gotta come up with a new plan and redo all my my data and my accounts and, and and come up with a better system. So what that entailed was me going through 50 fucking emails and 150 accounts and swapping everything again and disabling all and going through all my old emails that I already had. I had to go through every single one of them unattached my phone number, change all the info, hide it, delete it, delete all the emails, and then abandon it, right? I needed to get my phone detached from all these fucking accounts because Microsoft and Google thought I was doing some shady shit, which from the outside perspective, I understand. It looked like I was doing some shady shit. It looked like I was trying to fucking embezzle money or fucking hide my, or steal someone's identity or something. I, I don't blame them whatsoever. I was, it looks suspicious as fuck. It had to be. I was trying to fucking juke this guy and save my life. So, I order, so let me, let me backtrack a bit. I order new computer parts. Because I think I'm finally getting everything kind of stabilized. New computer parts get here. I build the computer. Um, well, no, I don't build the computer. I try to build the computer and uh, it, it, it fucking breaks. I don't even want to go into it. The motherboard, I, I attached something and then it wouldn't detach and I couldn't put pressure on a certain pin because the way the case and the motherboard were designed, basically once that thing got plugged in, it was not coming back out ever again. And uh, I tried to fucking pull it out and I pulled it and it, a piece stuck in the motherboard and stayed there and it, the motherboard was fucked, okay, so whatever. That really sucked, like, you know, like a lot of money gone, a lot of time wasted, but then I started realizing, I'm like, you know... I'm not really ready for that computer to be honest like i still like my dad is fucked like my my i don't i have too much shit spread it's like i'm not getting hacked but i don't i don't know what i'm doing anymore my shit's too much everywhere so i'm like okay the computer's broke whatever fuck it it's fine uh i order new parts and i'm just like okay whatever on hold 
and I redid my whole system, um, all my emails, all my accounts. I went through and cleaned them, I cleaned them all up. That took like a week straight, all day, every day, waking up, fucking twelve hours a day, just sitting here with my fucking, just reading, uh, fucking A X percentage explanation point at symbol. That's all my whole fucking world has been for the last month, dude. Just typing in passwords and digits and pins and fucking codes and fucking two FAs and like I, I I go to bed and I I think about the I I see it in my head and I I dream about it. I'm seeing numbers and fucking two FAs and it's insane, dude. So that's done. I got the system. That took fucking hours and hours and hours. I got the system. I got my data all secured. I got my accounts. I got the I got the the, the system. I am monitoring everything. It's clean. I know where everything is. Um so yeah, I didn't. I'm just looking at this timeline. There's there's notes and shit I, I needed to write down, but or um, needed to mention. I, I didn't mention a few things. I, the, during during the, the span of all this, I've been talking with the police, the FBI, the IRS, um, uh, all that stuff, all that good stuff, and that 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 anyone that has dealt with the IRS or uh, <laughs> that's holy shit. They got about seventy five thousand different numbers spread across the internet and hidden in alcoves of archives of information like it's absurd how difficult it is to deal with the irs but and and during all this i'm getting notifications like someone signed into your turbo tax account and is looking at your fucking your tax returns and so then i'm dealing with like not just losing my accounts and my investments and my money but now the now i'm worried about the dude stealing my identity opening up credit cards so then i go through all that um I learn how all that stuff works. I start monitoring my credit, you know, talk to the IRS about it, um, talk to TurboTaxes, uh, fucking TransUnion, Equifax, Experian, all that stuff. I went through all that. I'm still going through it, just seeing someone like, oh, and, and I, the whole time, the whole time that the world's debating me, right? Like, for example, I wake up one day and it says, oh, did you add this account to your credit history? Someone might be opening a business. Someone might be, a, uh, someone might be getting a job in your name and f fucking filing taxes in your name and all this shit. And all these are just false. It's because I opened a new bank and, and I got debated and the bank showed up on my credit. And But I can't see it. I go and look and it doesn't show up. So then I don't know if it's actually that or if it's someone else. And uh, so not only that, but then there's a point in time where one night when I had everything kind of secured... Um, I, I, I get the new computer, I'm, I'm securing everything, and then I, I try to log in to two very vital accounts, and it turns out that uh, there, was, there was a spike in, in the internet, the, the, the United States internet backbone infrastructure, there was a, a spike, and it went down, there was outage reports everywhere, and uh, so both of these websites went down at the same time, leading me to believe that I was getting hacked again. And every time this happens, I log into an account and, I can, and my password doesn't work or I think I'm getting hacked. I can't explain what that feels like. It feels like there's a fucking gun to your back of, to your head, dude. It, it doesn't feel good. It's not fun. And uh, so, yeah, the, it was fine. I didn't get hacked. It was just the websites going down. Uh, so I, you know, panic attack for an hour. And then we look into it and we, we look up Internet spike outages and we see there's a billion reports at this time. And we realize that that... You know, the, the websites went down. I didn't get hacked. Um, that and this lady pulling out in front of me and crashing my car. And, you know, it just, it just and, and, and the, the motherboard plug not coming out like it should. Like all the other ones, I built a hundred fucking computers and they've all worked the same way except this one. And then and I broke it. It just goes on and on. And okay. And then here's another debate. Here's another one. Get this. I, 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 I finally get my, my, my game PC built. I got the new game PC built. That's what I'm on right now. It's fucking, it's rock solid, good to go. But there is a lot of issues with it. I, I built it a couple days ago. I, I spent hours tweaking it, getting it all configured. There's an issue with uh, some, some weird setting with the local accounts and Microsoft accounts and stuff. Something that basically kind of screwed up my computer. So all the work I did... Fuck it. I got to reformat again. If I'm going to reformat and do this, I'm going to do it right. I'm going to do make sure if I'm going to do all this, I'm going to do, do it right. So I'm not going to I'm not going to risk this. All the work that I've done. Screw it. We'll do it again. I reformat. Whatever. You know, a day's worth worth of work gone. I, I restart. That's fine. I do it all again. Tweak the computer up. Get my antivirus. Get it all updated. Get my VPNs, my firewalls. Get it all. It's all fucking top notch, crisp and clear and fucking secured. OK, once that happens. 
I go and start installing games. Uh, I start, you know, getting the primary games that I want on this computer, and everything seems to be going good. I get like three or four games set up. Each game takes like a couple hours to tweak and config and get my key bindings. And so after about the fourth or fifth game, um, I realize there's a loud buzzing in my ears whenever I launch the game. Even if my audio is disabled, even if there's nothing going on, there's just a buzzing. And I didn't hear it because the whole time I was probably listening to music on the other four or five that I set up. So then I'm like, fuck, what is this? Like, this buzzing, I, I something's wrong. The motherboard's fried, or the, maybe it's the graphics card, or the power supply, I don't know what it is, the case, it could have been anything. I thought, so I'm like, dude, the last, like, fucking all this work I've done is gone. Again, I'm fucked again. Like, I gotta fucking, I gotta start again. And, um, so I'm like, I started panicking again, dude. All this work, all these hours and thousands of dollars, gone. So I, I take the computer apart, I go to my old, I get my one of my old cases, I, I take that computer apart, I mix and match some of the parts, swap it up a bit to, to, to confirm whether it's it's something that I, I configured wrong in Windows or if it's the parts, right? So that's that's a, that's a night of, of mixing and matching and taking computer apart and, and the whole time, it's one thing to, to build a computer, you know, it's kind of hard, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. It's another thing to build a computer while you're under a lot of stress and you're under a clock and your your career is declining and your money's going down and every, and you you know that's that's hard then and not only that but you don't even know if what you're doing is is going to help or like so I'm sitting here messing with all these fucking expensive ass computer uh, sensitive computer parts with with the, like the not the proper state of mind to be doing this shit like I'm not calm or anything I feel rushed and so I'm making mistakes and, and not being careful as I could be. And, you know, so whatever. That wasn't fun. But <clears throat> I get it done. I swap both the parts and stuff. And, and I end up rebuilding. I can't even explain, dude. I can't even explain how many computers and, and shit I have. I, I, I got both my old computers. I have a brand new computer. Um, and I have another brand new computer that's kind of kind of I'm working on. Then I have... Uh, my safe laptop that I bought to, to refresh from everything and, and recover from everything and then and then I got my old infected laptop I got about six computers that I'm working on and It's they're all uh, the ones that are infected like I like I got wires everywhere, right? You got six computers. You got fucking cords everywhere, bro and Trying to keep track of this and make sure I don't plug something in like something that's infected from one of the infected computers into one of the good computers or you know vice versa trying to keep this all uh, clean and, and organized and keeping track of everything. It's not easy. It's not easy. And there's times where like there was a period of time where I'm sitting here and I got I got this laptop on my lap and I'm doing something on it. And then I got fucking two computers over there that are on and I'm doing stuff on this monitor and that monitor with th three different mouses. And then I got a, a laptop over there, that, another laptop that's on that I'm doing stuff over there. So I got like four fucking keyboards and four mouses on my desk and this fucking thing in my lap and uh, computers in the other room that are broken that I got to keep track of what those are. I can't mix and match any parts from those. I got sticky notes all over the fucking house keeping track of which one is which and which one's infected. And... I mean, at one point, having 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 this many computers on and trying to keep track, that's that's the most complicated shit I've done in my life by far, <laughs> dude. And so, I mean, I already I don't even know where I'm going with this, but I, I took all my accounts, I, I got them all off the internet, and I I got them all in real life, and I, I got I got I got the plan, and I don't even I don't even know where I'm going with this, dude. It's like the, it's a freaking mess. It's it's a mess, dude. What, let me let me look at some of my my notes here that I was going to talk about. Um, I guess I guess that's pretty much it, to be honest. That's pretty much it. Um, I guess mo most people see you know like a, a YouTuber gets hacked or a Twitch stream gets hacked and like they lose their channel. I think most of the time. Now I'm not trying to undermine anyone's situation. But I think most of the time when that happens, they, they usually just use, lose their channel. That's it. So it's really it's not really that big a deal if you just lose your channel. Big fucking deal. Um, well, yeah, it is a big deal. It is. It's still a big deal. But my situation is a little bit different. I, I didn't just lose my channel. I, I lost everything. <laughs> I lost everything. 
uh, try, like my, my Steam account, my Battle.net, uh, my NVIDIA account, my DeWalt.com account, my Honda ID, my old 15-year fucking Beyond account that I play old school games on, my, my, uh, my, my Battle.net, um, you know, just er everything, my, my, my utilities, my phone, my rent, my channel, my, all my favorites list, my Google Drive, my tax documents, um, all my sub emotes are gone, um, er 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 all my business contacts are gone, um, all my graphics are gone, all my animations are gone, my ob settings are gone, all of my com game configurations are gone, um, every, uh, every piece of fan art that I have is gone, all the images that people have sent me are gone, it's all gone, um, so... Yeah, it's kind of fucking yikes, bro. It's kind of yikes. Um, so that's 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 kind of it. Um, I I'm very fortunate to still be here. I to be honest, I don't think I should be. My my security was so trash, and I made such a big mistake. Clicking on that file was was the biggest mistake of my life. One click almost fucking killed me. Um, yeah, my security was trash. I had everything under one email. I had no antivirus. No, like barely anything was two FA'd. Um, just, you know, just trash, dude. So, so here's the deal. First of all, I want to say, I wrote some names down. I want to say thank you to a few people who really helped me get through this. And then I want to give you guys some advice, some some shit that I learned. So, first of all, we got a uh, we got a gentleman named. Uh, I don't know if he wants me to say his name, so I'll just call him Ohm, okay? Ohm. Uh, Ohm, thank you for running me through. the. Oh, Ohm was the first person I talked to, the first person I got a hold of, and uh, he helped me change a few settings in my emails that allowed me to, to really to start the recovery process. If I didn't talk to him, I'd probably be screwed. There were a few settings in my emails that the, when the hacker got in, he he started forwarding the emails to other to his email so he could steal anything that I did, right? And I wouldn't receive it. And uh, I never would have known how to fix that if it wasn't for this guy. So, Omi, thank you, dude. Um, my uh, my YouTube, uh, YouTube in general, uh, my YouTube partner manager, Big Fucking D. You know who you are. Big D, thank you very much. Again, coming in clutch again, dude. I... <laughs> It, it's it's it never stops like the amount of times youtube has to come in and bail my ass out and save me is it's insane if Fwiz as well uh i'm sure Fwiz is getting very sick of <laughs> dealing with my ass <laughs> and i don't blame him one bit Fwiz, so thank you um i gotta say thank you to paypal for having immaculate customer service um, I don't know how it is for everyone, but if you do business with them on a consistent basis and you, you have a, you know, a status with, with, within PayPal or whatever, they will help you. They are fucking good people. They're, they, they, they have good customer service. You call them up, you'll get a person that speaks English and they know what the, what the hell's going on. PayPal helped me and they saved me. Thank you, PayPal. Um, and one of my mods, Nathan, uh, Nathan, you know what you did? Nathan, Nathan, uh, walked me through, uh, you know, he was there from the go from the get go, uh, along with Sharp. Both my uh, two of my mods, they were there from the get go. They walked me through everything, um, security, two uh, FA, you know, uh, just general tech advice. Um, Help me get uh, antivirus set up. Um, just give me just general advice and and helping me come up with with ways to deal and all the problems that came up along the way. We sat down and we 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 brainstormed and we we came th we came up with solutions. Uh, to each one of them and so nathan sharp all my mods thank you guys uh i'm sorry for at spamming you guys non-stop at here you know help me do this whatever I, I apologize hopefully we'll get back to just you know at here come fucking do tts we'll get back to that someday um who else uh sir dies a lot you guys probably don't know him but he's a he's a dude who helped me a lot I don't really want to say everything that everyone did. I don't want to fucking, you know, ruin everyone anyone's privacy. But Sir Dies a Lot, thank you for your time and your advice. Um, Router God Zach and, uh, and Craig, thank you guys for your guys' help and advice. <clears throat> Nissan. Na Nason? I, I don't know how to say your name. Thank you, dude. Uh, Jamie, Jamie, thank you for, for donating to my PayPal in the initial stages. You're the reason I got the laptop and the router and was able to do this. Jamie, thank you. 
Jamie also helped me uh, get my phone. That's a, I didn't even go into that. I had to get a new phone, and I, I couldn't. Oh, and my I didn't go into two things. I couldn't order my parts or my phone because my, my, my cards were shut off. So Jamie helped me. She sent money to my PayPal, which helped me get the, my, my, uh, the laptop and all that stuff in the router. And then I, I uh, she, I'm not going to say everything we did, but she ended up helping me get my phone as well. So Jamie, thank you. Help me get my phone. Uh, my neighbor, uh, my neighbor Courtney. I don't. I'm not going to say your online tag yet or whatever. I don't. I don't want to dox you or anything like that. Maybe I. I, I want to. You know what? I'm going to host you in the future, dude. I promise you, Courtney. Thank you for everything you did. Help. Help me get the computer parts and just calming my ass down. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Uh, Dank Farts, thank you for donating during all this and all the donations when times are good too. You're a fucking massive supporter of the stream. I used your IHOP cards to eat during this when I didn't have fucking money. Thank you, Dank Farts. Uh, my neighbor, thank you, dude. Uh, and last but not least, we got Mr. Driscoll helping me with a little bit of phone advice. And uh, anyone that I didn't mention, I talked to a lot of fucking people during this. Anyone I didn't mention specifically... I apologize. I just tried to. I just. I just came up with like the you know the top ten fucking people that really, really, really fucking saved my ass. And there, there's a lot more that that helped too. So I can't name everyone, but every everyone that helped me, I I can't explain how much I appreciate it. I thought getting banned from Twitch was a big deal. Is nothing. That's fucking nothing. You know, like what what else has happened to me? Um, I don't know. Any anything that's happened, it's all fucking. It's nothing compared to this, dude. This is by far the the the. the this is the worst thing I could imagine, like, going through. And I, I know that's cliche. Like, I'll probably have a problem tomorrow, and I'm like, oh, shit, this is the worst problem now. But no, like, I'm serious, dude. This, this was fucking scary. I lost everything. I lost uh, my, all my channels, my socials, my, my uh, like, my t my Instagram is still gone. I can't even get that back. Um, you know, I lost everything. My banks, my phones, my socials, my money, my investment accounts. It was all gone. Like, I, I can't really think of anything that compares to this. It's... All my life is all online, right? So it's it's almost like losing my fucking like my legs or something like it, you know. I... <sighs> when you when you, all your life is online and you lose your digital accounts, that's like losing your fucking your your senses, your hands, my legs, my I, I lost my my functionality, my my basic fucking I couldn't do anything. So yeah, that's it. Um, thanks again to everyone. I feel like every other day I'm making a video like this. Like, again, take number 27,000. Thank you, everyone, for saving my fucking life again. How many times are we going to go through this, bro? It's like, I swear my life's a fucking meme. It's a roller coaster. It's like, th this is my life, right? Just bare bottom, 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 bottom. Uh, Twitch goes, Twitch does well, boom, boom. Uh, get banned, boom, back to the bottom. Uh, you, you know, switch to YouTube, boom, back to the top. Uh, you know, switch back to Twitch, boom, back to the bottom. You, like, it, get hacked, boom, back to the bottom. Like, it never stops. It never stops. Fuck. All right. So that's that. I still got a lot of work to do. I think, give me about a month, and I think I'll be back and good to go. Maybe a little bit less. We'll see. Don't hold me to anything, but... Everyone that still supports me, use my creator code and shit, and, and, and is in my Discord talking to me, and, and um, you know, just thank you guys. I don't know, man. Thank you guys. I'm going through some shit right now. This fucking sucks, but you guys are awesome, and you guys got my back, and that's the one thing that keeps me going, and that, that kept me going through all this, knowing that when I get out of this, what I have to look forward to, what I, ha what I have to get back to is greater than, than anything out there and so that gives me the power that i need to fucking keep going no matter no matter what no matter how hard it is i don't give a fuck and uh just okay so that what about about at the end of this this has been a long video let me give you guys some quick advice um first of all if you're if, if you're like me and you're a gamer or whatever you, you might tweak your computer out to make it as fast as possible highest performance you probably don't have a vpn firewall antivirus none of that stuff well it's time to start like actually thinking about that kind of shit dudes um I never had any of that ever, and I never got hacked. I was fine. I, like I'm pretty good with computers, um, but even still, you can't. You don't risk it, man. Get get an antivirus. I, I would suggest go go get like malware bytes or Bitdefender or something. Now, do your own research. Figure out what's best for you. 
I'm just giving you some general advice. I'm not a fucking pro at this by any means, but malware bites and bit defenders seem to be pretty good. I'm using malware bites right now. Um, go get a good VPN. I, I have uh, I, I use Nord and it's really great. I, I uh, it auto connects when I launch my computer and at my ping, I, I have like too higher latency in some games. Like it's, it's like I'm not even using it. It's great. Um, update your Windows. I used to I, I used to have Windows. Uh, it, it couldn't update. I disabled updating because I I didn't want it to mess with my audio settings or whatever. Like every time there's an update, your audio you'd have to redo your audio and shit. You know what? In the grand scheme of things, that's nothing compared to getting hacked and fucking losing everything. So. Um, don't have all your your shit tied to one email. Have make a few, you know. Have a public throwaway email, and then have a safe one where you keep your important shit. Or better yet, come make about twenty seven emails like I did. Maybe that's a little overboard for some people, but have a couple. Get a couple emails. Um, spread your shit out. You know. Don't have it all attached. Don't have all your eggs in one basket, like I did. Um, make sure your important accounts are two FA'd. Make sure all your emails are two FA'd. Go through the security settings. Realize how they work. Pretend you're a hacker trying to get into your own account. And, and look at all the different options they have when they're trying to sign in. Look at the recovery options. Uh, forgot my password. Um, I don't have my authenticator. Let me try in a different way. You know, see how all that shit works. See if there's any holes in your plan. Um, what else? Keep, keep some cash on you. Keep some fucking cash on you. We've all heard this, but it's real, dude. If I didn't have cash on me, I'd be screwed. I remember I withdrew uh, withdrew some money. I don't know. It was like two years ago, um, like a year and a half ago or something, because I thought just just have some cash in case in case something happens, and something happened, and I needed the cash, and I fucking spent it all, and I needed it, and it saved me. So have have you know, have have some cash laying around, stash it somewhere, you know, put it in a safe somewhere in real life. Um, Maybe uh, don't if you have all your accounts like saved online. Like password managers are very risky. Um, your your if someone hacks your Google uh, login session, th there's a password manager attached to that potentially. Um, so go look at your security settings. See if you have a password manager. Mine had 150 accounts saved. You click on download, and then you have a list of all my accounts right there. That hacker clicked on download, and he saw all my accounts and all the passwords right there boom he didn't have to fucking do anything so be careful with your password managers um you know maybe if you have vital accounts uh, like don't sign in on those sign in on those on a, another computer somewhere and, and only do it there and only that you know don't say signed in on your vital accounts on your fucking your trash game pc or your fucking porn pc or whatever don't stay signed in on that shit if they if you download something that you get hacked they're in those accounts they're just in so have a computer where it's like only, you know, maybe you only say sign in on one account on that computer and it's not tied to anything, you know, do something like that. Um, uh, get a router. I never used a router. I thought, you know, it'd slow my, 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 the registry of my shots down would be delayed slightly or maybe I'd get higher ping or whatever. You know, in the grand scheme of things, it, does, it doesn't matter. I, I, I have a router. I, I tweaked it. I, I made it very secure and it didn't affect my latency at all. So, I mean, you know, get a good router, like... I was talking to someone, and we, uh, the, the best analogy I can think of is connecting to the internet, playing games and stuff without a router is basically sticking your fucking, is sticking your dick in someone with that, with STDs, with no protection. That's pretty much what it is, dude. Go get a router, get your protection, wrap it up, if you know what I'm saying. Um, other than that, I mean, yeah, have a, have a plan, like, if, you know. Have someone, have one of your friends, maybe make a throwaway email and have your friends try to hack it and see what happens on your phone or, you know, your 2FAs or your notifications. Familiarize yourself. So if it happens, you're not shitting your pants like I was, dude. You know, just figure out what's going to happen. Come up with a plan. If, if this gets hacked, if you get the notification for this, then you're going to swap it over to this. Or if the email gets hacked, then you're going to swap all these accounts over to this email. But if the accounts get hacked, then you, then the email's fine. Well, then you don't really got to change them. Then, you know, just change the account. You know, come up with a plan. Figure out what you're doing. The world is only going to get more uh, digital and more uh, online from here. It's that's how it's been since what like 1995 or something everything's going digital and it's going it's more and more and more and it's going to keep, it's going to stay that way it's not changing so uh, online security is uh it's i i would argue it's almost more important than real life security at this point 
I mean, your 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 digital identity, your accounts and stuff, those are just as important as the fucking lock on your front door, dude. I'd rather have someone rob me in real life than rob my my online presence. At least I can fucking defend myself in real life and see see the person. You know what I mean? Um, digitally, if you screw up, that like <laughs> your shit's gone. There's nothing you can do about it. I've talked to the police and FBI, and like, you know, it's like there's not too much you know anyone can do about this kind of stuff. So. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it. This is a long ass video. I hope it's, it's, I don't know. Hopefully it's at least entertaining, at least somewhat for you guys. Um, or maybe you learned a thing or two. Yeah, I think that's about it. I'll see you guys as soon as I can. I, I fucking miss you guys. I can't even explain how, uh, <sighs> streaming is just kind of like, it's, having everything taken away from you like that it's really um I, I i was convinced i wasn't gonna be able to return or come back so even just sitting here making this video right now i'm very happy and content and uh i wasn't forced to move back to the crack shack and shit you know so yeah i'll see you guys as soon as i can i still got a lot of work to do but it's all fallen into place and i i think it's gonna work out so yeah i'll see you guys as soon as possible peace out dudes have a good one